Okay, hi, it's day three and I finally finished the hardest painting I think I have ever painted on my channel. I am mentally exhausted, physically exhausted, and I have used probably the hardest art supplies <laughs> that I have ever used on the history of my channel. But I think I'm finally ready to show you guys the actual result. Here it is. Good morning! So it is currently 7 in the morning. I couldn't sleep all last night because I literally thought of the most fire idea for a cheap art video. So today I'm gonna go from zero to 100 and with the absolute most cheapest art supplies that are available to me today, I'm gonna be painting the most famous painting in the world, the Mona Lisa. Well, at least trying. Probably, probably not. Probably nothing even close to it, but I'm gonna try. And yeah, I think this will be a good art experiment. I think it'll be a good way to show you guys that you don't need super expensive art supplies. Isn't that right, Bowie? Isn't that right? Anyway, there's only one place where I know the cheapest of the cheap art supplies is. So without further ado, let's go ahead out over their transition. <laughs> Now there's one paint in particular that pretty much like motivated me to do this whole entire video. It's one of the most cheapest paints available. <laughs> that my friends is the one, the only apple barrel paint. Now if you don't know, this paint is notorious for being incredibly cheap, kind of like known as the bottom of the barrel, but I think it'll be fun. So I'm gonna pick out a few colors and we'll go from there. Look at this, they have some like really nice skin tones. Yes. And this is $14 worth of 50 cent paint. All of this. $14 for literally every single one of these. You know, I don't know why this paint gets such a bad rep. I mean, it looks so good. I mean, the color selection is incredible. And I'm kind of curious to see how this baby swatches. Hi, so yeah, let's do a little swatch. I got the uh, hard bodied acrylic here. Focus, hello, 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 hello. And as you can see, this paint was originally $15 for this like little thing of paint. But this is probably one of like the top tier high quality paints. It's a very thick finish versus one of the red apple barrel paints, which I'm, I don't honestly think it's gonna do that bad. So let's see. Beautiful, just beautiful. Versus the apple, oh God, <laughs> versus the apple barrel paint. That's not bad at all. I mean, it's a little watery, as you can tell by like the watery streak that we got here. Another potential concern, it's drying much darker than the original color while this one is like consistent all the way through. Eh, it might be a problem. <laughs> Okay, so starting off, we got the $14 worth of paint all laid out here. And I'm gonna start this off with the outline using just like a random pencil that I had laid around the house. Wait, 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 I just realized I didn't talk about the canvas. Oh my god, guys, 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 I found even cheaper canvas than Dollar Tree over here at Walmart. Look at this, it's a three pack of canvas for $2. Three pack, $2. That's less than a dollar for canvas, yes. All right, so the very first thing when painting is of course building my palette. I have many colors I haven't tried out yet, so I'm gonna all lay them out. That way I can color mix as I go. When you watch Bob Ross, that's the first thing that he always does is build his palette. Let's go over the colors that we'll use. We're gonna start out here with titanium white, phthalo green, and permanent red. 
actual art god and savior uh, but yeah after i make my palette which i got a lot of colors that i think i'm gonna be using the next step will be to get my kneaded eraser and pick up all the extra pigment that i don't want mixing with my paint later and then from there, just jump into it. Just start doing what we need to do. So the first thing that I am going to be doing is working with all the various layers. And when I say add layers, I truly mean so many layers. And it was pretty much about maybe an hour or two in where I really started struggling. And this is where all the problems that are going to come start arising. All right. All right. Check this out. And I understand this specific example has glare and other factors, but this is the best footage I have to display my point. So sometimes the paint would go on much lighter and then dry down much, much darker. And get this, and get this, and sometimes, and again, I understand there's glare, but sometimes it would go on much darker and then transition into a lighter color. And so when I would mix them, when I would add water, it was like, a, it was like a guessing game because I could never figure out what color is this going to be. Is it going to be lighter? Is it going to be darker? What's going to happen when I mix them together? I don't know. Let's just mess it up and find out. Okay, so it's currently day two, and I am so sorry to cut it off short, but I just was getting so annoyed by whatever the hell that thing is. Like, I'm just so frustrated by it all. I mean, with oil, which the Mona Lisa is painted on, I can blend like an absolute dream. But with this paint, I am so frustrated. So instead of just trying to make a miracle happen, I'm gonna focus on the background. Okay, so here's where we're currently sitting with the background. It only took me about two hours to do this whole thing. And that's all I'm gonna do for day two. Tomorrow, I'm gonna focus on the face because she looks like handsome Squidward. Day three. Day three is very simple. I'm just gonna tweak it and fix up proportions and just try my best to make something that I'm proud of, you dig? Okay, hi, it's day three, and I finally finished the hardest painting I think I have ever painted on my channel. I am mentally exhausted, physically exhausted, and I have used probably the hardest art supplies <laughs> that I have ever used on the history of my channel. Here it is. Final thoughts, is this the Mona Lisa? Obviously not. The paint was okay, it was just very hard to use, it dried pretty much instantly, it was very patchy, very chalky. And of course, you know, it's cheaper paint, so the pigment is gonna look much more washed out, much less vibrant. And as you can see, like this side by side here, it's very apparent. And I'm not gonna lie, at some points I would get so frustrated with this painting, I would want to throw it out, scrap this video, delete it, get rid of it, burn it, whatever. But looking back, I'm pretty proud of myself, and I think I did a good job. And honestly, it's not bad for 50 cent paint. It could be way, way worse. I mean, especially if you're like a beginner, if you're doing like an underpainting, there's a lot of uses that you can have with this paint. Can you create some Leonardo da Vinci? Obviously not, but it's not bad. So with that being said, I am going to give this the official Ray Dizzle rating slash grade of a C.